I'm gonna show you three ways to make your water drinkable. But before we do, we need to go over all the little things you need to be sure of before you even think about treating your rainwater to make it drinkable. The first thing we wanna do is start at the roof. The material your roof is made out of determines whether or not your rainwater will be able to be drinkable or not. The best roofing that you can have is a galvanized steel roofing. It's common all throughout here in Hawaii. Other roofing materials such as terracotta or asphalt roof just leach way too much debris and chemicals into the water, making it almost impossible to filter for drinking. So you want to be sure that you have a roof that collects clean rainwater before it even gets into the tank. Next, you want to be sure that you keep your gutters clean. Gutters are a common spot for debris, for pathogens, for um, all sorts of things to accumulate and to get into your water supply. So I like to make sure that I check on my gutters at least two times per year, maybe more if you know that you get more debris in your gutters. But be sure to keep those gutters clean and by doing that you'll also keep out mosquitoes. You want to be sure to limit as much debris from getting into this water tank here as possible. So by installing leaf guards on the downspouts or other pre-filters. On my system here, I have a pantyhose covering the inlet pipe going into my tank and it collects all of the debris before it gets a chance to falling in. And every uh, once a month or so, I just change out the pantyhose with a fresh clean pantyhose and I am able to create a clean water inside my tank just by doing that. But occasionally your tank does get dirty and you wanna make sure that you keep your tank clean. I made a video that shows you exactly how to clean your catchment tank, how to clean it, how to treat it, and how to make sure that it's the cleanest possible water sitting there in your tank. It's not drinkable yet, but it's about to be. Now, before I show you how to turn that water that's clean, nice and clean sitting here into the tank into drinking water, why don't you go ahead and plant your finger on that like button. Every time you plant your finger, you're helping this channel grow. And speaking of growing, if you want to help this channel grow even more, why don't you head over to homesteadinhawaii.com slash Amazon and you could do all your shopping on Amazon from there. All right, we're going to start with the most popular way to filter your rainwater into drinking water. And that is with a UV water filter that we have right here. This UV water filter system is really common around here in East Hawaii. It's been approved to turn rainwater catchment water into drinking water for the whole house. So this water coming out of your, um, your tap, your shower, uh, your kitchen sink, all that water is made drinkable with this system. What it does is it has a UV bulb that neutralizes the bacteria and pathogens that normally make you sick when you drink water that's untreated. It kills those off and it allows you to be able to drink the water safely. Of course, you have to have a couple pre-filters in there to get some of the larger debris and sediment out before it gets down to the UV filter that um, actually kills those microscopic um, bacteria and pathogens that these filters can't take care of. One of the drawbacks of this system is that you got to change the bulb every year. Once in a while, you got to change this ballast right here. Um, the bulb itself costs a little over $100, and um, sometimes you don't know if it's necessarily working or not. It can get dirty inside, um, the light can get blocked, and your water may not be getting filtered. That's something to be um, concerned of, so I advise checking your bulb at least twice a year to make sure that everything is clean inside and working properly. It's a pretty good system to have, but for those of you who are limited on power, you're really off grid, you only have a couple of solar panels, uh, this may not be the best system for you. It takes a good amount of power to run this thing. So I want to show you this next way to filter water, a way that doesn't take any power except for the power of the pump to move the water through your house. Let's go check it out. Another way to filter your rainwater to make the water in your home drinkable is with this Clarify Quantum Disinfection Filter right here. This thing is great for off-grid home setters. It takes no power. It doesn't require you to set up any plugs or any additional things. All you gotta do is have some basic plumbing skills and you can get this thing hooked up. Once again, I like to make sure that I have a series of pre-filters 
uh, going from 30 microns down to 15, down to five, maybe even down to even lower two or whatnot. Make sure that you have some pre-filters before the water gets to this system here. And then this system uses a sort of quantum technology. It neutralizes the ions of pathogens and diseases that might be found in water and it kills it, utilizing no power to do it. So it's a great system to have if power tends to go out where you live. You don't have to worry about is your water drinkable or not because this thing works whether you have power or not. One of the drawbacks though is the price of uh, exchanging out the filters. This unit nowadays I hear costs about $600 and replacing the filter can cost about $300. Prices have gone up since I originally got this unit here a few years back. It makes having drinking water off-grid a really simple, easy thing. Something you don't have to worry about. So UV filters and quantum disinfection are a great way to uh, filter your whole house for water. But that depends on having an operable pump, uh, electricity. But what happens if you don't have those things and you still need drinking water? I like to have redundancy in my life. And there are a few backups out there that we can use that can uh, filter our rainwater without any power or pumps or anything whatsoever. One way is a Berkey water filter. They are a gravity fed water filtration system that fits on uh, the counter in your kitchen. And you just pour water in the top, it filters down, and at the bottom you have clean drinking water. It doesn't make all the water in your house drinkable, but you do have drinking water available. Now, I don't use a Berkey because I already have a whole house water filter, but I do have backup. The backup for my home is this Life Straw whole house water filter. If you've ever gone backpacking or whatnot, Life Straw has a product uh, known as uh, sort of a Life Straw um, pen or uh, straw if you will, where you can pretty much just stick it in water and, and suck right through that thing and be able to drink water straight out of there. But this is just a larger version of that. Uh, this one can uh, filter water uh, by uh, simply filling it up and allowing the water to filter through and you have enough water to, feed, to provide for a few people. I could just use the water straight out of this water tank to be able to filter through this thing right here. It doesn't require me to have any pumps or anything. So in case all else fails, I have my backup water filter right here. So there you have it everyone. Three ways to make your rain water drinkable. You never have to worry about drinking water again. Take care of your water and it will take care of you. Make sure that you keep your rainwater tanks clean. And if you don't know how, I've made a video that you can check out here. And every once in a while, test that water to make sure that it doesn't have any pathogens or whatnot that you may have missed. And I made a video showing you how to test your water right here that you can check out. So once again, everybody, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. Until next time, ahoy ho.